Yo, what's good, DCO Nation? Infamous Legacy here, and I'm alongside the homie and my lead mate, Supreme Bloodlust. And he's the one actually responsible for this Hobgoblin style. And I'm gonna let you guys know during the video how to create this Hobgoblin character creation. So let me give you guys a 360 view. And while I'm doing that, I'm also gonna let you guys know if you think this style is amazing, make sure to send Supreme Bloodlust a tell regarding his hobgoblin character creation you know show him that support don't ninja invite him to any groups just let him know how amazing this character creation is because man i was shocked when i saw it it actually looks like the real thing from the cartoon series back in the days so I'll give you guys one more 360 view and if you do have any questions regarding this style let me know in the comments below but i want to let you guys know what colors he has used and what styles he has used when it comes to this Hobgoblin character creation. And the styles will also be listed in the description below. So you guys will be able to find those in game. Alright. So now let's get on with the colors. So we're using orange, blue, and a brownish gold color. Make sure you guys pause this video to write down the codes. So that's for the style, skin tone, same thing with the brownish gold, because that's for the face. Eyes red, but you don't need to worry about that. Makeup, there you guys go. Alright, now with the headpiece. So the headpiece Supreme used with this Hobgoblin creation is a Raven Soul Mask. You guys can get that in that Teen Titan solo mission. It's also a tier 1 solo mission and the raven soul mask is cheap in the broker so if you don't have it, it costs probably like 50k in the broker all right now the face piece is league of assassins you guys must have the fight for light dlc it drops in coast city off atrocitus and that's the tier 3 alert coast city no shoulders no emblem Alright, with the hands, so when it came to the hands, he used the Celtic hands, which is available through the St. Patrick's Day seasonal event. But you guys can either substitute it for the cuffed hands, which is available in the war room, or Dr. Fate hands. So remember, you don't really need to use the Celtic hands if you don't have them. Just go ahead with the cuffed hands or the Dr. Fate iconic hand style. Alright, now with the waist. It's the, square, the squared buckle. You guys can get that in the war room. With the feet, it's the clean cuffed feet. And that's also attainable in the war room. So when it comes to the chest piece, he's using the Amazonian chest piece. You must have the Battle for Earth DLC to obtain it. It drops from the tier 4, tier four raid gates. And yeah, you'll definitely see it drop there. Alright, with legs, new genesis, I'll let you guys know where to get that, but that also is not a rare drop. Back piece is a tattered cape, that's in the war room. There you guys go, all orange, all the colors. Skin, we went with youthful, and then bare hands, hand blasters. But yeah, here you guys go incredible you know character creation right here and look out for more character creations from supreme bloodlust that i will be sharing and shout out to him once again for giving me the permission to share this with y'all so till next time dco nation y'all take care and peace